Honor Club, where honor is real. It is an understatement for me to say that I could not be more proud of the way these pure matches are going and the way that everything is panning out. The people around the world are watching and seeing pure athletes at their finest. They are seeing actual wrestling. And man, it just, it warms my heart. And the thing is, my last match contested under pure wrestling rules was against LSG. Now, here's the thing about that. <laughs> Although I was the one with my hand raised, I did not beat LSG. The announcers announced Jay Lethal is the winner, but I did not beat LSG. LSG was beaten by the rules, okay? When it comes down to it, he used more rope breaks than I did. I mean, this is pure wrestling. You can't push a man off the top rope to the outside. That is the reason that you lost LSG. And if I had one more minute, if the, the match was just one more minute, just 60 seconds longer, I'm telling you, you would have been pinned or submitted. But that's the best part about these matches, man. Because after the match, you shake hands because there's a winner and a loser and you both respect each other for it. And I gotta say, no matter what the outcome was and no matter what exchange of words we may have had right after, LSG, I respect you. Which brings me to my next match, speaking about respect. Josh Woods is, quite frankly, under these pure wrestling rules, he's gotta be the most dangerous man in this company. The man is an MMA specialist. If you think about it, and I've heard some of his comments, these rules were kinda made for guys like him. It's because of that I, I, I cannot and I will not take Josh Woods lightly. He's dangerous. I've heard some of the comments that Josh Woods has been making. He sounds a little overconfident, a little cocky, but if I had his background, hey, Maybe I'd be cocky too. Maybe I'd be a little overconfident. But hear me out, Josh. Although my last match that I had that was contested under these pure wrestling rules, that was won by judge's decision. I don't plan on that happening ever again. So when you and I step into the ring, Josh, as cocky as you may be, as dangerous as you may be, I will win this match via pinfall or submission without the judge's decision. Josh, you've got every right, every right to believe in yourself, your skills, everything that you bring to the table. You should win this match, but you won't. When, when you're an athlete growing up, you, you kind of demand perfection, right? If you want to be good at anything in the pure tournament, I demanded perfection for myself. I fell short against Jonathan Gresham. You know, normally I would take a loss like that very deeply. But uh, I know I showed out and I know I, I didn't win, but I didn't lose either. I showcased what I really believe Ring of Honor is about, and I really showcased what Josh Woods is about. And regardless of the result, I'm happy with that. Look at a guy like Jay Lethal, his career is just, right? So, so, so amazing. And then you look at my, you know, very short pro wrestling career. But then you look at my background, right? You got MMA, amateur wrestling, national champion in college. All those things just kind of balance out. So now Jay's really long and, and prestigious career is not, a, not exactly as impressive anymore. I don't feel that I'm the underdog when it comes to that. I was made for pure wrestling and pure wrestling was made for Josh Woods. And that's what I believe is gonna make the difference in this match. There's not really a way you can prepare to wrestle someone like me. And you, know, you can watch all the footage you want, but I'm a very uh, reactive wrestler. I'm a very great defensive wrestler. So I think Jay is not gonna expect the things that I can counter, because not a lot of people can even do the things that would be countered. I think Jay's gonna have his hands full. I wrestled Jay in 2017, and he beat me with the lethal injection, just like everybody else. There's no perfect move. Every move has a counter. Every move can be reversed. Every move can be stopped. With that in mind, have an idea of things that I can do if, if the opportunity presents itself, but I'm definitely not unprepared for that challenge. You don't ever want your, your matches to be determined and your fate in someone else's hands. You don't want that. And I know, I know Jay is the kind of guy that wants a definite finish. He definitely wants that exclamation point. And I know we're the only two guys that have had the judge's decision go in our favor. 
And uh, I know, I know going forward, I don't want that to happen to me again. I don't want to leave the fate of my future in someone else's hands. So there, there's no other option for me than to definitely finish this match and come out before Beating Jay Lethal shoots me straight up to the top of the rankings, and that's where I want to be. That's where I deserve to be. That's where I've earned. That just gives me the confidence, the motivation to face Jonathan Gresham for the pure title. And this time, the outcomes will be very different. Getting a victory over Jay Lethal not only proves about how great of an athlete I am, but it's going to change the way people look at Josh Woods.